Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to label a landscape plan in Adobe Illustrator. So right now I am in the Illustrator application and as you can see, I've already created a title block and assigned it its own layer. If you want to learn more about how to create a title block using Illustrator, I invite you to view the how to create a landscape plan in Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So now that I have my title block created, I'm going to go ahead and import my color drawing that I've already mod modified in Photoshop. So I'm going to create a new layer for it and I'm going to call it image and with it selected as the current layer, I'm going to go to file, place and select the drawing and link is fine so I'm going to hit place. And now it's asking me for an insertion point, so I'm just going to click once on the artboard. And I'm going to rotate it um, to make it vertical. And to get it exactly vertical, what I need to do is actually hold the shift key. And when I hold the shift key, it'll automatically uh, lock me into 45 degree in increments. And you can see kind of the preview here. And then just release and that'll get, get it exactly there. And now I'd like to get this image exactly in the center of the artboard. So I'm going to use the align panel. And if you don't have that um, out here in your workspace, you can always find it under window align. And just making sure that align to artboard is selected and the image is highlighted, I'm just gonna click here on horizontal align center. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my layers panel and lock that image into place. And I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it labels. And this is where we're going to start working. And since we're going to be using the type tool, I want to have all the character options uh, open so I'm going to go on the window type character. You can see there's many other panels related to text. I invite you to check these out on your own time and see all the different things that they do controlling paragraphs. But right now we're just going to use a simple char character panel. And I'm going to use the type tool. And for most of the labels uh, you always use the type tool and just click once to create line text. So I'm just going to type in house here and just let me zoom in using the zoom tool. And what I mean by line text is that you can see that if I select this with the direct selection tool, there's an anchor point at the end and just a line. And the anchor point will always be related to um, the paragraph setting. So right now I have a paragraph align left. If I had align center, the anchor point would be on the center. And if I had align right, selected the anchor point would be on the right. And this is just something that allows you to have a little bit more control over um, how you align your text with other geometry. Also, I want to make sure that my text is all an eighth of an inch high. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 8th inch and actually the house want to be bold. Let me get that right here. And for labeling, um, the same rules of thumb apply for, uh, for labeling digitally than for labeling by hand. So I'm going to go ahead and start labeling, for example, this group of shrubs right here. And I'm going to use just the line segment tool. And I'm going to select a 0.25 stroke uh, thickness. And just to make sure that there's no fill and a black stroke, I'm going to start working on this. And I'm just freehanding these lines in here. And then when I get to my end segment, 
I'll click and hold the shift key so that it's straight and release. And then again, use my type tool and say for shrubs. Again, with labeling, we always want to make sure that everything is in caps. Going to left align. And I'm going to make that just regular text, not bold. And when I'm working on this, I just want to make sure that everything is nicely aligned. So again, I'm going to select both the shrub text and the line and make sure that I'm back to align to selection and then vertical align center to get those two lined up. And then I'm just going to drag this up a little bit so that it's centered with my cross, my center cross. Another thing you can do is after you have a text that you like the way it looks, for example, I like the look of this house text, you can copy it by just selecting and then holding the Alt key. And I'm going to come in here and just label the lawn. And it's usually a good idea to have a different style text for your hardscapes than for um, your plant material. Actually, I want the house to be the only one that's bold, so let's just switch this over to italics. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy the lawn text and put it over here in the stone. And sometimes you'll bump into this kind of a thing where you have a pattern in the background, so it's difficult to read the text. I think it's a good idea to actually put a color block behind that, so let me zoom in there. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that's about the size of the text. Right now it's black and I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to copy this background color. You can actually copy uh, pixel information from a drawing. So I'm just going to select this and kind of keep sampling until I get a color that I'm satisfied with. That yeah, looks pretty good. And now I'm going to right click on that rectangle and select Arrange, Send to Back. And since it's sending to back on the Labels layer, it's not going to go behind my image because the image is on, on a completely separate layer underneath of all the labels. And if I really want it to um, just make this a clean edge, see right now, if I look at it, it looks pretty good. Um, but if you didn't want to see that harsh edge on it, another thing that you can do is just go under Effect, Blur, and use a Gaussian Blur. And you can see that's just blurring out the edges of my rectangle, so it kind of blends a little bit better with the background. I actually don't want as much blurring as it's showing. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And now I can continue just labeling all the plants and the hardscapes. 